Okay, I have your AutoCAD opened. So let's open a sample file. So in your exercise files, I'm hoping you have downloaded it. I'm going to open floor plan sample.dwg. So I'm going to select open. Okay, so some of you might be using an older version of AutoCAD. Okay, so once more, I am using the latest version of AutoCAD, which is 2021. And by default, we are currently in the dark mode. In addition, the icons are more cleaner and more defined. Also, AutoCAD now supports 4K. So if you're using monitors that has resolutions of 4K, definitely you'll be having more larger experience. Okay, so moving forward, let's start off getting familiarized with the AutoCAD interface. Let's head up to the left. Notice this letter A, this is called the application menu. I'm going to select this. The usual stuff, same with uh, some other uh, Microsoft applications. We have here a new for us to create a new drawing. The open uh, icon here. We have a uh, save. So in addition, dito sa save, notice up, there's uh, these two icons, recent documents and also open documents. So I can cycle through. So notice I have selected open. Ito yung current open drawing. Once more, recent. And if you're working always on a specific file for weeks or probably more than uh, a week, you may select this pin icon okay for you to automatically get back uh, to your work so in addition yeah we can uh, have uh, an ordered list large icon smaller icon okay so next let's head over hover over save as so once more if you're trying to save a new copy save as drawing and we can also bring this over to AutoCAD web and mobile, drawing template, drawing standards, and of course, other uh, formats. So let's check if uh, the other options for saving to other formats. So what you're seeing here under the file, file types, this drop down, we can save this to older uh, versions of AutoCAD. Okay. I'm going to hit cancel. Let's return to our application menu once more. And under import, aside from PDF, we can import other formats into AutoCAD, such as 3DS Max file, Katia, IGES, Pro E, SolidWorks. Uh, yeah, so those are the other file types. Selecting cancel. Let's head back to our application menu. And uh, with import, we also have export. Once more, we can export this as a PDF and other formats. So let's check again what are the other formats or file types we can export AutoCAD to. So here under this uh, drop down, we can uh, export this to lithography STL for 3D printing. In addition, we can also export this to EPS and bring this over to Adobe Illustrator. In addition, as a bitmap and IGES. Selecting cancel. Let's head back to our application menu. And of course, under uh, publish, we can send this to a uh, 3D printing service. Archive, e-transmit, of course, email uh, the file and the share views. And of course, AutoCAD is a uh, drafting application. So once more, of course, we can print this. We can plot, a batch plot, plot preview. And notably, we can also have this uh, 3D uh, printed if you're doing uh, 3D designs in AutoCAD. So moving forward under uh, drawing 
uh, utilities. We have here tools to maintain the drawing for drawing properties, units, audits, status. We can purge. Okay, and of course, uh, close uh, the document, the current document or all drawings at once. So same uh, with all of this. They're all different, but at the bottom, options stays the same. Of course, we can also exit Autodesk AutoCAD 2021. Okay, so let's select options. Okay, so for options, this may uh, vary depending on your organization if, if they have uh, rules and uh, guidelines for using AutoCAD. Okay, so once more, this is the area wherein you can uh, customize AutoCAD to work efficiently uh, for you. Okay, so I'm going to hit cancel. So just to add, another quick way of heading over to options is simply typing OP. Okay, OP and select options. So once more, let's head over to our application menu. And notice here we have a magnifying glass. So this is a search field. So if you're looking for a specific commands, uh, let's say for demonstration purposes, let me type in. I'm looking what uh, I'm looking for the line command. Though. So here we have the results all pertaining to line. So once more from here, you can uh, select a, a specific result. So I have selected a construction line. So from here, yeah, I am now creating a construction line. I'm going to delete this. And that's the application menu. Let's now move forward to the quick access uh, toolbar, which is this bar above. Notice this first a few icons are also in the application menu. We have here new open, save, save as, plot, undo, and redo. In addition, notice this arrow pointing down. Let's select this, left click. We can check and enable this items to appear in our quick access toolbar. For demonstration purposes, let me select layer. So notice here we now have the layer panel in our quick access toolbar. Okay, so let me remove this by reselecting layer and unchecking that. So if you're always using layer, you can have that at the quick access toolbar. We have here the current name of the drawing opened. We have here a uh, search field and this one will redirect us to the help menu and the product documentation of AutoCAD. And notice here at our uh, profile, this is me currently logged in. So from this uh, drop down, we can check our account details, explore purchase options, manage licenses, sign in, as a sign out. We also have here, the Autodesk App Store for you to plug in Autodesk apps related to AutoCAD. I can uh, stay connected with the Autodesk online community. And in this drop down, we can head back to help. Learn what current uh, version of AutoCAD uh, we are using, send feedback. Desktop analytics, download, language packs, and of course, offline help. And the usual minimize, maximize, and close window. Next, another area in the AutoCAD user interface is uh, the ribbon. So this whole section over here is the ribbon. And notice the feel and look is the same with uh, some Microsoft applications and uh, notice as I hover over to the tabs and uh, roll my scroll wheel I am now cycling through the different tabs so let me head back to home notice each commands has its own uh, group 
And at the bottom, notice we have here a, an arrow pointing down. Now these are all fly out. So if I click this arrow pointing down under draw, we are seeing here additional commands at our disposal. And notice, if I move my cursor outside of this area, it minimizes up. And to retain that, heading to uh, draw drop down, it's simply pinning this uh, group of uh, menus. So if I move out, it's, it's stationary there. Let's unpin this. And as we progress, we will discover more of the commands in each of the tabs here. So moving forward, I am now in the annotate tab. Another one, I want you to take note of this arrow at a 45 degree angle, which is pointing downward. So under dimensions, I'm going to select this arrow and this time under dimensions it opened up dimension style manager i want you to take note on each uh, group of commands the menu that flies out with uh, this arrow is specific to each uh, group so for leaders we opened up multi-leader style manager and uh, for text, if we want to edit the text style, we need to click this arrow. And uh, this one opened up the text style menu. Hitting close. And uh, below the ribbon toolbar is the file tab. So this will be populated whenever you are opening a new drawing. So currently we have one drawing available. Once more, this area over here will give you the list or show you the drawings currently opened inside AutoCAD. And before I forget, let me show you the difference between a dialog box and a palette. So once more, under Annotate, this arrow pointing downward, when we click this one, this opens up a dialog box. Once more, a dialog box. And an example of a palette, let me head over to home and uh, select layer properties. So this one is a uh, palette. Now the difference between the two is a palette is dockable. So notice I can dock it here. We can dock it to the left. Okay, and to close this, the X uh, button is located at the left. And uh, finally, if your ribbon is uh, different from mine, we can cycle through or minimize uh, the ribbon by selecting this uh, drop down or cycling through by selecting this icon pointing up. So let me left click this to cycle through. Left click once more, and it heads back to our current default layout. And if ever the toolbar palettes gets all mixed up, to head back to the default layout or user interface, it's simply heading over to our application menu selecting options or simply typing op selecting options and under here simply head over to profiles and select reset okay so i'm going to select yes it resets the user interface selecting okay okay and finally before we start drafting Lastly, let me first introduce you to the status or status bar. The status bar holds our drafting settings. Okay, so this affects or controls how we draw in AutoCAD. That is how important this bar is. 
recall a while ago we reset our user interface via options and because of that all of our drafting setting options are currently visible to bring that back to the default state let's head over to this three horizontal lines which is the customization and uh, from here let's disable infer constraints line weight transparency selection cycling 3d object snap dynamic ucs selection filtering gizmo units quick properties lock user interface and the graphics performance okay notice some of the items here are already switched on or active and they are all currently highlighted in blue so for example dynamic input is turned on and uh, auto snap is also turned on same with our object snap and the uh, show annotation objects always let's say i would like to turn on our polar tracking so i'm going to left click on this in addition on its right we have a fly out menu wherein we can change its settings let's say for this instance let's select 45 and uh, notice this time as i create a line we are now snapping into a 45 degree increment. I'm going to hit escape and let's head back to the fly out of our polar tracking. We have here tracking settings. And this leads us into our drafting settings. And uh, to bring in our uh, drafting settings, we can also right click to some of the switches. Let's say this time under object snap tracking, I'm going to right click and uh, select object snap tracking settings. So once more, it opened up drafting settings, specifically the tab of object snap. Let me close this out. Another method of opening up drafting settings is simply typing D, S. And from here, I can select drafting settings. And uh, lastly, before we add this chapter, from now on, I want you to memorize the various keyboard uh, shortcuts in the drafting settings so so here i am seeing snap on is f9 grid on is f7 polar tracking on is f10 and for object snap turning or toggling this on and off it's f3 object snap tracking f11 3d object snap f4 ortho f8 Okay, let me close this up.